It is certainly a high-profile clash and one to look forward to here at the Emirates. Arsenal against Liverpool, who's going to prevail? Stay with us on EA TV. Delighted to be able to report very agreeable weather for the fans here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played. Oh, and that challenge carried with it quite the element of risk. Now, what's the referee going to do next? Well, hardly the polish removed from his boots, and he's been expelled. Well, all their plans have just been thrown out the window. That's such a poor challenge. And a substitution in the offing. favour the cross he's got to score and a goal they start as they mean to continue they make the opening statement well let's see this again Look at the bend he gets on this. That struck so cleanly. What a good finish. Arsenal restart the game then. And they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Good looking sequence. Well, no way through. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Just the challenge that was required. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, it petered out. Salah and Salah oh that's textbook goalkeeping <laughs> and over it comes not too fussy in clearing his lines Jorginho Martin Odegaard Arsenal could be on to something Havertz Oh he saved it well It's a short one. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And he's in. Will he? And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And what a clever bit of play it is from Salah, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. 2-0 now, and back underway. Gabriel Martinelli. Now Zinchenko. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. A good and fair challenge. And it 
clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. And they need to get tighter. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. White. Jorginho. So Bosloy. It's Arsenal's turn now. And they need to get tighter here. But nothing comes of it. Alexis McAllister. Salah. Arsenal's free kick here. Havertz. A very good tackle. Alexander Arnold. Konate. Mo Salah. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kai Havertz. Havertz. Crossing opportunity. Marcinelli. And back with Havertz. And this would reduce the deficit. Well, it goes a begging, and when you're two goals down, you've got to be cold-blooded. Yeah, they need to take those sort of chances. They're struggling here, you have to say that. Andrew Robertson. Diaz. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. And the shot. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Martinelli and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position a chance to whip it in cuts it back and the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger now what can Liverpool do with this advantageous situation oh he's through here Really important tackle. And he knocked it over the touchline, so it will be a throw-in here. Options in the centre. Cuts it back. Well, he knows it. The shot needed to be just a bit lower. Alexander Arnold. Can he play it in? It's there for him. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And Salah! Textbook defending inside the box.
And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Well, I think it's fair to say, Stuart, Mo Salah is having quite a lot to say for himself out there on the pitch. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions, and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. And away they go again. Just reflecting on what we saw in the first 45. Joyous football from Liverpool. So Bosloy. Kai Havertz. Havertz. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. This to get themselves back into it. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. So back at action, and Arsenal just one behind that. Alexander-Arnold. Well, that one has promise. Has eyes for goal! Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. And he did well to cut it out. Well, he's certainly not alone. Martinelli in position here to protect the ball Havertz oh and there's the goal they were looking for they're doing this the hard way down as they are to 10 well as you can see he doesn't mess about here does he he's strong well balanced and skillful that's a top class finish And there were many who had counted them out this has been quite the fight back so Bosloy Salah the cross is on oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack Ibrahima Konate so a half an hour remaining. So Bosloy takes the shot. And it's in! The back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Well, it's a big moment for Jurgen Klopp. He just needs to get his players refocused now. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Havertz. Saka. Luis Diaz and looking towards the back post oh that is a majestic goal volleyed home with precision and style superbly done 
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and what about the finish? With such control and technique, that could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Jorginho, now Zinchenko, Kai Havertz, White, and a tidy challenge. Promising sequence. Into the final 20 minutes. Plenty of support here. The fans are shouting, shoot! A goal! As they cut it to their advantage! Still plenty of life in this match! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, how about this? 4-3. Thiago. A really good pass. I don't think too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. Robbed of the ball. Mo Salah. This is Thiago. And offside by a very small margin. White. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. Alexander Zinchenko. Now with Jorginho. Advantage, Arsenal. Gabriel. It's with Erdogan. Given away by Arsenal. Chance maybe to use the counter attacking ability to good effect. And he's broken free. Alexander Arnold. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. William Saliba. Effective piece of pressing. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Martinelli. The attack carried promise, but petered out. Thiago distributing shrewdly. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Martinelli. Throw in here for Arsenal. It's going to be a double substitution. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Gabriel. Emil Smith-Rowe. Martinelli. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? That's a good pass. Big opportunity. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Another more than effective night's work for Mo Salah. Your thoughts on his performance? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.